Okay, tubers. We're um, going to plant this next row uh, with uh, squash and zucchini. And then at the very end, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some okra in at the far end down there. Um, I don't know how much you know about okra, but it doesn't take a whole lot of okra plants to give you all the okra you ever want. But um, I'm going to go ahead and same with the squash. The squash is pretty prolific too. It'll, uh, it'll produce and produce and produce. And if I was just feeding myself and my family, I wouldn't need anywhere near the amount of squash plants I'm going to put in here. But the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to borrow um, uh, Web Cage and Donald's um, method since he did this in raised rows and it looked like it did pretty good. Um, I'm going to space the um, mounds, so to speak, out where, uh, where I plant by using the rake as a guide for spacing. So um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to put about three seeds in each spot and uh, move to the next hole uh, and keep going all the way down until I run out of these seeds. I'm going to continue this the west, rest of the way the same way and uh, uh, I'll add a little fertilizer and then uh, cover it up and I'll show you that as I, when I get to it. Alright, uh, Daniel is uh, putting some fertilizer down around the, the mound and I'm going to rake uh, the dirt over the top of the, the seeds and that's how we We'll be planting our squash and zucchini this year. I've got uh, five mounds of yellow squash, five mounds of black beauty zucchini, my personal favorite, and I've uh, got five um, mounds of elite hybrid zucchini, which is really a good zucchini. It's got a real thin rind if you've never tried it. It's a, it's a real good taste, and it tastes a lot like the Black Beauty, but it's not uh, near as, um, as stiff a plant. It's a little softer plant, uh, vegetable. But uh, on the other side of that, uh, we're going to go ahead and lay some fertilizer down in a furrow, and I'm going to plant my okra. And uh, if you've never seen okra seeds, they look like this. Uh, can you see that? Uh, these little guys, uh, plant them about in, a little less than an inch deep, about three quarters of an inch deep, and uh, put them about 18 inches apart. Well, actually, you want to thin them to 18 inches apart. Um, I'll, I'll put them probably closer to somewhere around, um, I'll probably space them out about every six inches, and then uh, thin them out. Uh, so there you go. Uh, we'll cover all this up. And I think we're going to head into the greenhouse and, and start working on my Dutch buckets. Uh, and we'll have another video on that uh, when I finish it. Y'all go plant some dirt. Still got about one, two, three, four, four rows, about 160 foot rows to plant. And uh, we'll show you what that's all about later on. I'm running out of daylight. God bless. See you next time.